All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We need to clear the air on what is going on today with AMC stock. Why the hell are we up 25%? Why are we at my price target for the end of the week today? What's going to happen throughout the rest of the week? That's what we need to get into. There's a lot of misconceptions out there, and this video will clear the air on all all of it so hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and comment down below any comments questions or concerns that you do have if i don't have time to get back to you down below in the comment section then come join us on the live stream tonight in between 10 p.m and 11 p.m eastern standard time and i will answer all of your questions but without any further ado let's get into it if you guys want to come trade with us link down below in the painted comment so Exactly what is going on with AMC stock today. I really want to clear up the misconceptions here. So it says why AMC shares are popping off. It says shares are trading higher by 15.5% at $23.38. After the company's CEO, Adam Aaron, discussed potential future investments to capitalize on the interest of retail investors. Per a report by Reuters, Air uh, Aaron stated, I'd like to think that there are more third party external M&A announcements going forward where AMC can reach for the stars and intriguing investments that have potentially attractive returns. Transformational M&A is mandatory. Our, our shareholder base has given us capital to deploy with the clear expectation that we are going to do things exciting with the money they entrusted to us, Aaron told Rude Reuters. Reuters. You guys remember that? I said Reuters in a video. It's Reuters. I got it now. It's it's Reuters. AMC shares may also be experiencing a short squeeze over the past week as shares have risen sharply by 42.7% over the trailing five sessions, according to data from Benzinga Pro. AMC has a total share flow of 515 million, of which 101.33 million shares are sold short, representing 19.68% of shares sold short. Now, this is the part that I disagree with because we're not seeing any data that shorts are actually covering a matter of fact we have not seen one single day not one day in the past two weeks where the return shares were higher than the borrowed shares now i know you can only trust ortex so much here but ortex likes to way overestimate everything so if shorts were covering they would have these return shares at least for one day higher than the borrowed shares but what is happening each and every single day like today borrowed shares of 1.43 million return shares of 494.8 thousand again another day where you you are seeing almost a million shares that are sold short relative that are at relative to, the, to that is actually covered you're, you're not seeing any indication of a short squeeze that's not going on what is going on in case you don't know it's a lot of people that were trading this thing back here right over the past year that are now buying back in because now they see potential in the stock take a look at stock twits Take a look at stock twits, the number one trending stock on stock twits. It's even beating out Tesla, which is up 8% today after announcing a fucking stock split and a dividend related to that. It's a lot of people that are FOMOing into the stock. That's why I've been saying for the last year that people that sold out are still our friends because they're going to be back. And that's exactly what you're seeing right now. They are back. And due to the liquidity crisis, the situation that we are really seeing right now, where margin rates are going up, which makes the cost of borrow rates go up. You're seeing that on Ortex that reflected in many, many stocks. The uh, uh, credit crisis, if you want to call it that. Whereas not as big of moves now in stocks will cause short squeezes. That's why you're starting to see short squeezes really hit stocks across the board. That all is playing a role and it will play a role in a potential short squeeze, but we are not at the point of shorts getting margin called and those margin calls turning into forced share liquidations. I want to be very clear about that, but that, that means it's still to come. So if we're making moves like this off of FOMO, as well as likely a gamma squeeze as well, because keep in mind, we don't have a lot of actual option activity on this expiration heading into today. Uh, only about 92,000 calls that are in the money, 65,000 uh, calls that are out of the money right now. 
What actually fuels most of a gamma squeeze is people that are rushing into weekly options because on those weekly options, the premiums are cheaper. So when you start to see people rush into those, you have to hedge those out much faster. Even possibly people that bought calls today uh, during the past couple of hours, the market makers likely had to go out and hedge those contracts right now because the contracts expire on Friday, especially if they ran into the money on a lot of those weeklies. It can cause a huge gamma squeeze. So that is really what is going on today. No indication of shorts covering. If we do take a look at the option activity for the institutional investors, you can also see it's been very high over the past week. 362 orders totaling $173.78 million. Positive order value of 74 percent 64 orders totaling 49.86 million positive order value of uh 56 percent so you're seeing a lot of institutional option activity as well and there is also hedge funds that are betting with us not against us right i i think that's another big misconception is a lot of people think that you know hedge funds are only out to get us you know bet against us but that's not the case a lot of this is going to be fueled by institutional investors as well and you're definitely seeing that happening uh, uh today and over the past couple of days so pretty exciting there let's talk about the technical analysis my price target was in between 24.52 and 33.25 and i know i get a lot of people that are saying hey that'll never fucking happen well look what happened we're up 28 point or well 28 29 percent right now why can't it happen it's literally happening right now. So really what I expect, and I'm letting history kind of be my guide here, right? So we just, let's zoom this back in for a second. We just broke above the 100 day moving average. Now I did expect to see some resistance around this. Now it might turn out that we do see some resistance around that because let me take you guys back in history to the January rally and what happened when we did break to the 100 day moving average. So we broke to the 100 day moving average, found some resistance, broke above it a little bit, came down a little bit, and then the next day gapped up 26% higher. So if history is any guide here, uh, I mean, I don't want to get you guys too excited, but tomorrow you could potentially go to that $35 range. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, go to that 200 day moving average range, which is about $33.25. My apologies, about $33.25 per share. That's what history would suggest because like we talked about in the last videos, if you guys have not seen those, well, that's unfortunate. We have the same technical setup that is going on. You come down, you, you, you hit a, a low, the low that you've seen in a long time, and then you come back up a couple little rallies in there hit a lower low and then start to rip off that lower low let's take a look back to january briefly in case you guys don't watch any of my videos which you definitely should and this is why because we called this one out perfectly look it's the same pattern you come down you hit a relatively low low from where we had been trading before that right and then you get some bounces in here and then you come down to a lower low and then you take off from there. It's a very, very similar, almost identical chart pattern that we are currently seeing. So I don't make my price targets off of bullshit, off of speculation. It's based off of patterns and patterns tend to repeat itself just like history tends to repeat itself, uh, but it doesn't always, right? But it usually does rhyme. So that's really uh, what what is going on with AM C stock and if i were to guess history will likely repeat itself in the same way so i would expect a little bit of resistance here at these levels and then possibly gap up to 33 to 35 dollars tomorrow if not higher than that or you know on wednesday or thursday or friday i do think another uh, gap up is coming this week especially with the news that we are getting uh that's very very bullish and that's gonna have a lot of people excited uh for a very long time so uh, i think that's really really good as far as volume is concerned for the day the most exciting thing is that the volume is only 67 and a half million so we have all we have room to i mean see the volume go much much higher even back here uh march 23rd the volume was 170 million we're only at 67 million 
give me a break. Give me a break. We could rally throughout the whole rest of the day. Nothing really has to stop us here. The RSI just hit that overbought level at about 74.76. And uh, the MACD just uh, obviously broke positive on the daily chart. But you're getting this huge gap that is uh, very wide at this point. So it's very telltale of a uh, uh, continuation to this rally that, that we are seeing. Let's go ahead and look at the AMC uh option chain here briefly for this week and uh yeah you're really not seeing too much activity at all at the 25 dollars strike uh, about ten thousand for open interest and then thirteen thousand for open interest at the 30 at the 35 about nine thousand for open interest let's take a look at next week and uh not too much activity there as well which honestly the less activity you'll see on the option chain right now is potentially a good thing because as people do continue to YOLO into that, uh, you're definitely going to see a lot of hedging that has to happen very, very quickly. And uh, for April 14th as well, you've seen a lot of contracts that already ran into the money, but not too much that is actually out of the money. We'll see by the end of the day, the numbers will update to be more precise. So bring you guys that update when it does uh, become necessary as far as the uh where's the max pain uh max pain we gotta pull up amc somebody last night wanted to see sofi so pull up the mac uh the max pain and that's 18 dollars uh per share by this friday my birthday is this friday so come on birthday moas baby Woo! come on we're in there like swimwear not not no april fool's bullshit this time so yeah it's all looking really really good i want to keep this video short and sweet and straight to the point there's some other things we have to talk about but we will talk about that in another video some very alarming things that are going on like ukrainian officials being poisoned by russia possibly another false flag event but that is a topic for another video. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys are making a lot of money out there. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you are, as well as come join the trading community if you guys want to be up on these trades as soon as we make them. Get yourself those free stocks as well down below in the description of this video. For Mumu, deposit $1, get three free stocks as well as an additional free share of NEO upon your $1 deposit clearing. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.